Should I tell you the name? Maybe I will just tell you the name. <laughs> the Business Diary series. Welcome. Oh my god. This series is a series I'm starting in the month. Yes, I said month prior to the launch of my matcha brand. If you've been following me for a long time, you obviously know that I am obsessed with matcha. That girl that drinks matcha every single day, that girl that makes every single matcha recipe that there is. I am just a matcha girly through and through to the point where it has become my life's passion and hopefully my new job. <laughs> now, here's why I love matcha. First of all, the beautiful color, literally so many antioxidants. It contains an amino acid called L-theanine. This is responsible for giving matcha a little bit of a sweeter taste. It it also helps you focus. It's been shown to reduce stress. It quite literally also reduces the jitteriness of caffeine. For example, like when you drink a matcha because it has L-theanine, you get a steady amount of energy. You don't get the crash that you would with coffee. Guys, I could go on and on, but I think that matcha is quite literally the best thing in the world. It's made from green tea leaves, just ground up, stone milled. I have a lot of videos on that if you want to actually see the whole process, but wow. Here I am today about to launch my matcha business so soon. And that's why I want to give you guys the business diary. So this first video of the business diary series, I kind of just want to tell you guys what's been going on so far and kind of just set the stage in case you've been a little out of the loop so that you know exactly what's going on. And also, why don't I make a matcha at the same time? I actually just recently ran out of milk, so I'm gonna make homemade cashew milk. So you guys are in for it. You're gonna get my cashew milk recipe as well. And I'll make that as I kind of explain to you how I've gotten to where I've gotten. Oh straining the water out of my cashews. I soak these for a couple hours in hot water. But anyways, like I said, there's a lot that's gone on. If you are part of the matcha mob, then you actually know what's going on. Uh, the Matcha Mob is basically my little buddies that signed up for emails where I sent you guys and still continue to send you guys unlisted YouTube videos, really just taking you through the whole process with me. If you're part of the Matcha Mob, you already know the name, you already know what the brand looks like. You've already seen me go to the manufacturer, like tons of behind the scenes content, but now it's time for me to fill in you guys. So let's go back to the beginning, the beginning of time, AKA 2021. End of 2021. Let me see again. So 2021, that's gonna be kind of loud. Wait, actually this is so loud. Let me just, <laughs> give me one second guys. Okay, as I was saying, once I moved to New York City, I was opened to a whole entire new world of matcha. There's so many matcha stores around here, so many like new matcha places to try. And I was just like, wow, I just love the idea of like bevs. I love a beverage. I freaking love a matcha beverage. And then being the ambitious person that I am, I was like, yup, that's exactly what I want to do. And then by early 2022, that's when I had decided 100% I'm going to have my own matcha brand. And I had the name already chosen since 2022. If you know, you know. By the way, I'm taking a scoop or two of some coconut cream. I don't know if you guys remember, but what really sealed the deal for me is I went on a podcast. I went on Colin and Samir's podcast and they asked me if I had any plans for the future. And this is when I said, I really love matcha and I show it all the time. And I think having that as a product would be super cool. And for me that locked it in after I kind of put my idea out into the world, that's when I started getting reached out to about like, hey, like I'm from this background. I would love to help you launch this matcha brand, blah, 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 until I eventually have the team that I have today and we've been working on it like I said since 2022 I gotta freaking blend my cashew milk also almost forgot just like a pinch of salt as well as a couple dates make sure that you don't put the pit into the blender because that would be bad kind of sounds like I accidentally did blend one of the pits into that oh well it's probably fine now this isn't actually really necessary with cashew milk specifically, but I'm still gonna use a nut milk bag to strain it. I'm gonna wash my hands. By the time that I moved into my second house in New York City, I don't know if you guys remember that house, the more like wooden house I want to call it. It was just like the more homey house that I had. Once I moved there, that's when I was in the thick of trying to figure out my manufacturer. Yes. 
And so I tried so many different matchas. I was having so many matchas to the point where like I almost got sick of it. Almost, but I didn't, of course, because that's impossible for me to get sick of it. Testing out a million different matchas. That was such a fun time in my life because I was living for trying out the different matchas, trust me. Until eventually I settled on the matcha that I have today. One second, please. Mmm, that tastes so good. I think I was supposed to make this with more water. And then give it a good shake. Yay! Okay, now I have my homemade cashew milk for later. Matcha all over my table. Literally, whenever I wipe down my table, it looks like this. And Amber gets, my sister gets so mad. <laughs> the next biggest question is how do I launch my own store? That is what I was wondering. And this was definitely the most daunting thing to me is like, okay, well now I need to figure out everything else. Like sure, I found the matcha that I like, but you actually have to put a business together, you know, Ashley, which of course I decided to use Shopify. Kind of like collabing with Shopify on this video is a dream for me because regardless, I was gonna use Shopify to start my business anyways. Um, by the way, it's matcha making time. So I am adding a little scoop of matcha into my chawan, AKA my matcha bowl. And in case you don't know what Shopify is, they are a commerce platform that you can use to start, grow, and manage your business. They quite literally power the next generation of entrepreneurs, as well as some of the world's biggest businesses. Like I, like, no joke, some of the biggest businesses and everyone else in between. I also just totally realized I forgot to sift my matcha, so I'm actually gonna do that. Whoa! Let's sift it in to a different bowl. Anyway, Shopify really reduces the complexity of starting a business with a simple drag and drop store editor, easy to use marketing tools, and a back office to oversee all of your operations. Just makes things very easy. I also use Shopify to send out all of my matcha mob emails. That was through Shopify as well. Anyways, Shopify is having an amazing offer going on. So if you want to check them out, make sure to go to my link, shopify.com slash your mom, Ashley, go give them a look and we can all follow our dreams together. By the way, I'm adding a little bit of water to my matcha powder. Do not use boiling water in your matcha or else it will make it bitter. The actual perfect temperature, if you're hella extra, is 176 degrees Fahrenheit, warm slash hot, but not boiling. You want to whisk back and forth kind of in like a W foundation, foundation formation. When you're done whisking, the matcha should have a Gorgina foam on it. Okay. Not me almost skipping over like the most important part of my business journey, but if you guys remember back in June of 2023, I went to Japan for the first time with my siblings. It was their first time out of the country ever. And that trip was really just to like immerse myself in matcha and obviously just try a ton of matcha, learn more about it, have a greater appreciation for it. And we went to Uji. We literally milled the matcha ourselves, got to try the best matcha in the world. And it was just such an eye-opening experience. And then after that, you guys know I went back to Japan a second time, literally like on my birthday, I went to Japan and this was to tour my manufacturer. So between the first trip and the second trip, I had done more testing. I decided I found my favorite matcha that I love and that I really want to use. And of course I had seen like the manufacturer online, but not in person. And so the last step for me was to just go there, meet everyone. That's part of the process. See it all from start to finish, all the way from being at the farm, seeing the green tea leaves to every single, and I'm not joking, every single step of the matcha making process up until you get the matcha in its powdered form. And it was just the coolest experience ever and really brought everything full circle. Probably my favorite trip of my entire life. From there, I was like, okay, we're all good to go send in my inventory order, which was such a scary step because that's like probably the most I paid for anything in my entire life. So fingers crossed. And now the match is coming out in July. The match is coming out in July. Do you hear that correctly? July. <sighs> oh shit. Me when I'm clumsy AF, except at least I didn't break any glass. Knock on wood. Why is there so much matcha on my floor too? Now we can finally make the matcha. Oh, the way that I have been able to continue the process of starting my business 
is every single week, at least once a week minimum. A lot of times more, especially in the recent months as we've been launching. Always have a meeting with my team. Every single Monday, call them Matcha Monday. It's been at Monday at 5 p.m. for the last year and a half, just as a touch base once a week minimum. And that's how we have been getting things done. I've also had lots of meetings with lawyers and many different people along the way. Much more legalities and things like that than I would have ever imagined. Ah. Today I'm kind of just feeling an unsweetened vibe. Look at the color. Oh my god, you so many of you guys are going to be able to taste this soon. The most delicious thing I've ever tasted. The most delicious thing I've ever put my lips on in my in my freaking life. Wow. Time to sit back and relax. I just remembered I recorded a podcast very recently where I went through my whole matcha process from like start to finish basically in extreme detail. So if you are really interested in how I started, I will have that link down below on my beautiful twin sisters podcast with my sister Amber. We chatted about my matcha business. Oh my God. Here we are getting ready to launch. Should I tell you the name? Maybe I will just tell you the name. Ah! Guys, the name of my matcha is... Mm. Let me take a step back. <laughs> I actually need to explain something. You guys know the phrase extra dynamic. I have my brother behind the camera for extra dynamic. I have my sister behind the camera for extra dynamic. Or I have them in my video for extra dynamic. Extra dynamic me is, to me, it is the spice of life. It is the little extra something something that makes life worth living. To me, extra dynamic is fun and the laughs and the good times in my videos, in life, in everything. That is what extra dynamic is to me. And so when I'm brainstorming the name back in 2021, I'm thinking, Okay, extra dynamic, extra dynamic. I don't want to call it extra dynamic matcha because why? Because that's kind of just like a cop out. <laughs> I want to do something different, something new, but I also want to stay true to myself and true to my roots. And I just freaking love the message of extra dynamic. So I took the word dynamic, take that as a whole. What do you get when you shrink in the word dynamic? Nami. You get the word NAMI, which is the cutest word in existence. NAMI means wave in Japanese. It rolls off the tongue so easily. It's kind of like, hmm, the, the NAMs. Ooh, that's so NAMI. Mmm, so NAMI. <laughs> I love it. I hope that you guys love the name as well. And now that you know, actually, I can just freely call it NAMI now instead of saying my matcha business. Bam. There's the big news. It's called NAMI. You guys can go follow NAMI on Instagram if you would like, at NAMI Matcha. The Matcha Mob has actually already been following the Instagram for like a month. If you haven't joined the Matcha Mob, by the way, make sure that you join it because I am still posting behind the scenes and other exclusive little surprises over there. So you definitely don't want to miss out. So make sure that you join the Matcha Mob so that you can be really in the know. Life is crazy. The logo for NAMI. I might as well show you, I might as well show you this as well since you made it so far in the video. It looks like this. It is a little star, it says Nami in Japanese, in the star. So adorable and simple and cute. It has my colorway, which was the butter yellow and the green. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for being a part of this process with me. The journey is gonna continue even after launch, so I am so excited for what's in store. And I just like, ah! I wanna give you guys all a hug for watching this video, for being a part of the process, for being excited for this with me, and just for all of the support that you guys have given me over the years. I love you guys have an amazing day drink a matcha for me i will see you guys next time make sure to double tap the like button double tap the subscribe button and of course make sure to click confirm when it asks you to unsubscribe see you guys later cheers bye